because I want to prove. Me and you to prove. You know, he said you have a talent, you have everything, everything is gone. He doesn't have shit. <laughs> He's gone. When you under that fire and that heat, it's a big difference. It might look easy from the outside, but when you're in there all by yourself and Freddie Roach can't do nothing but give you some water, <laughs> it's a whole new ball game. Probably the card which uh, the most promoters ever involved. Uh, we have seven of them, uh, led by Antonio Tarvis, AT Entertainment. It's the first time that Golden Boy and AT Entertainment is working together, and I'm really thrilled. This is really um, going back, uh, going back many, many years that you see uh, not a double header, triple header, but a quadruple header. Um, there was a time when uh, TV networks televised one fight. That is what boxing needs, because boxing fans stay at home, they make a commitment on a Saturday night to stay at home, and they don't want to see one fight or two fights, they want to see a triple header. And with Steven Espinosa from Showtime, making this kind of commitment to put together this amazing quadruple header uh, is really a thank you on Showtime's part to all the fight fans who can watch it live here in Los Angeles or around the world. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you a fighter who is trained by Freddie Roach as well, is certainly one of the top prospects uh, in the division. As I mentioned, huge knockout power, uh, and that is Latif Power Coyote. The reason why I'm ready for this fight to challenge this man, Tony Azaba, I want to prove the war. I am better than him. Really better than him. I am stronger than him. I'm better than him. I have art. So I'm gonna in. I'm crazy more than in. So why you wanna beat me? Every time I fight on showtime, even I got the opponent in the corner, I'm hitting the opponent. You quiet in the background. You don't say, you don't give me credit, nothing. You don't say nothing. When I got caught for opponent, he, he used that one. That's good for me. Say bad about me. If he, everything, if he showed I can do this for all over the world, they can know I challenge this man for a reason. They can renew the show for everybody. All my fight, I fight. The way he's talking about me, he never said one thing about me good. And uh, every time I see him, I respect him as a brother. I do sham, I do. I never say bad about you. I never disrespect you nowhere. Where I come from, we respect Ada. We never disrespect Ada. So when I'm looking, what did I do for this man? I saw him in the step center right here. I walked to him. Sham, what have I done to you? Every time I fight. You always say bad about me. He said, I'm doing my job. I always do it. I'm doing my job. You do your job. You don't do your job. You do shit. <laughs> you, don't do, you don't do your job. They don't do your job like that. You are, you are, you are not the only one is there. Three people is there. What about the two other people? So, they push me away. They push me away that day. We move, we move away. Now, my last fight I find, I'm getting a guy in the left hook. He said, I can't take this slow over this guy. He will push his slapping. He will push his slapping. Okay, I'm going to show you the slapping. The same who and I'm going to use to knock him out before fifth round. And I'm working on this. I put myself for I know where I'm putting myself to. I know where I'm putting myself to. I'm training hard, and I prepare for this man. Right here. And I'm ready for him. He don't know where he's coming down. He, where he's still right now, what is the mind? This thing is still the same. Tony Otama, the coin. No. You have a name, but he doesn't have the heart. He doesn't have the power. I don't even know his old. I want to make that one be clear. I don't know the age. Truth to God. He know, he said you have a talent, you have everything. Everything is gone. He doesn't have shit. <laughs> He's gone. For me to stand right here, I believe. I never talk to nobody. I never disrespect nobody in my life. And I have a fear of God. I'm talking with the anointing of God right here. I'm going to get this guy right here down on June 2nd. That's all.
He is truly one of the all-time greats. We all know him, and it's a pleasure. It's an honor for me to introduce to you former world champion, current world champion, IBO, cruiserweight world champion, Antonio Magic Man Park. You have to really admire the young guys uh, for uh, their enthusiasm, for their uh, determination, and, and for their will. You know, I remember, you know, eight, nine years ago, that was me, you know, vying for an opportunity to, to fight a legend and become a legend. And uh, so you have to really admire what this car brings, like uh, Richard said, it, it, the young, and then you have the old, and you have these old guys that right now don't, they're not willing to step aside just that easy. I feel that I still have so much to offer the game of boxing. I still have uh, plateaus that I have to overcome and uh, goals that I've set personally for myself. And uh, when you look at Latif, everything that he brings to the table, uh, I have to take this fight deadly serious. As you can see, I'm coming down. I'm already in, in, in great shape. I'm not in the type of condition I want to be in, but I'll be ready June 2nd. So we're going to leave L.A. and go right back to training camp and, and start some very serious training uh, for this uh, challenge that I have before me. When I commentated Latif's uh, fights, you know, trust me, uh, a lot of times, you know, as a young fighter, when you see a, a lot of uh, potential in a young fighter, you know, the worst thing you can do is, is tell him how great he is. And, you know, when you try to constructively, you know, uh, criticize someone, you think they'll go back and take heed to what you're saying and maybe, you know, work hard on the things that he don't do so well. And we're not, none of us are complete fighters because that's why we go to camp every time to try to get better. So instead of doing that, he took what I was saying. You know, I wasn't on his bandwagon or anything like that. And I'm sure everybody was telling him how great he was with the knockout record and how powerful he was. But, you know, I saw loopholes in his game. And it was my job to point that out. And maybe he listened to the commentary, go back home and work on some of the things that he's not doing so well to become a better fighter. But he didn't want to take heed to that. So now I got to show him. And on June 2nd, you're going to learn that night. And so I've been challenged before. I've had fighters tell me they're going to knock me out. Danny Green said he was going to knock me out. He had never been knocked out before. I took nine people to Australia, and I wasn't coming back empty-handed. That fight was a whole day and a half. And that was a long fight to come back empty-handed. So we went over there with nine people in front of 13,000 people, and I did what I said I was going to do. I stopped him inside the distance because that was the only way I was going to guarantee victory. And I stand before you here today, and I'm telling Latif Coyote and everybody he got coming to support him on June 2nd that his dream is going to come crumbling down because of the difference from being on the outside looking in. When you under that fire and that heat, it's a big difference. It might look easy from the outside. But when you're in there all by yourself and Freddie Roach can't do nothing but give you some water, <laughs> it's a whole new ball game. Mm. Welcome to Big Time, brother.